Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to enter uh, data in spaces so as to conduct an uh, independent samples t-tests. As you can see, uh, here is the spaces. I have spaces version uh, 23. So we, if we want to enter data, we have the data view and the variable view. We go to the variable view and in their name, I'm going to put groups okay groups okay and for the type numeric it's uh, selected by default we have width decimals and label i'm going to include for example gender okay and i have two uh, groups uh, for this uh, variable i have i have male i'm going to do like this i'm going to code for one is male add and two for female okay once i add them i click okay and for the scale i'm going to choose uh, nominal this because this is a nominal uh, variable or categorical variable either way i'm going to put here center once we have the groups i'm going to add the the test score for example i tested both males and females on their language skills in order to see whether there is a statistical uh, or statistically significant differences between the two groups or no on the basis of gender so scores uh, okay i'm going to go to label again i'm going to put scores here you should you should put name without any space here you can add space and for the values, I'm going to leave it like this uh, because it's, uh, I'm going to tell you here, uh, for the measure, it's a, a scale, okay? It can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It depends. So it can be, uh, if, you, if you are in Morocco, you have like, uh, the, the grades are like from one to, or from zero to 20. But in the states, uh, they are from zero to one hundred, so the, this vary from one country to another. So once you finish, you go to data view, and you have groups and you have scores. Okay, I imagine I have uh, ten uh, males and ten females. Okay, I'm going to to include them, code them like this. So for male is one. I'm going to code like this. And you should have the tests coded so as to know the males and the females okay and for females so these are 10 students too till i reach for example i have sample of 20. okay so i'm going to uh, put the the test score for each individual for example one i know the student's uh, name is so and so i'm going to put his grade because his uh, one is for males. For example, I'm going just to put fictitious data. Okay, so imagine uh, these are the scores of students. Uh, what we need to do now is to go to test the normality of the distribution of these scores. Because if you want to conduct an independent sample t-test, uh, one of the assumptions uh, is that the data should be normally distributed and we can uh, verify this uh, graphically or by statistics so i'm going to show you the two methods so to test the normality of the distribution we go to analyze then descriptive statistics and here explore we click on explore so we are going to have this dialog box so I'm going to list the dependent list as well as the factor list or the independent list. For the dependent list is the score. That is the score of students depend on their gender. So I'm going to select it and drop, uh, drag it and drop it. Or you can use this arrow. The same for gender, uh, put it here, factor. We can use this arrow either way. Then we are going to go here, the statistics to see the, the checked we can leave the interval for uh, mean like this 
doesn't matter for plots we're going to uh, unselect this team and leave and we can choose histogram because they represent the data better and we choose or select normality plots with tests so as this to see the tests for for, for normality namely Kolmogorov, Semyonov, and the other test that is Shapiro wear. So I'm going to click continue, and now we can re re run the test safely by clicking OK. So in uh, the output uh, window, we're going just to wait for the data. So as you can see, we have male, female, number of each category, valid percent, missing, etc., etc. We are not going to need this table more. Uh, we can uh, we can use this data for male and female to test uh, the normality distribution by uh, seeing whether data is skewed or kurtotic. So I'm going to show you the first way is to is to use a calculator. We're going to calculate uh, the statistic and standard error of the skewness and kurtosis of each group male and female so i'm going to show you the formula uh, we are going to uh, divide the statistic by the standard error and we are going to get the uh, z value and the z value should be between 1 uh, or plus 196 or dot 96 and uh, minus 1 dot uh, 96 so let's check this we are going to include for example 279 divided this is for scones by the standard error which is 687 so let's check this uh, that value so it, so it is 0 0.4 which is between the range i already told you about which is uh, plus or minus one uh, dot 96 so uh, we are going to tell, check all this skewness and kurtosis of uh, each group and if it is between the range we can conclude that the, the, the data is normally distributed the second way is to go to the tests of normality we have two tests we have uh, Kolmogorov Simirnov and the Shapiro Wilk test. So it's better to use the Shapiro Wilk test when we have small sample size. We have here just 10 and 10, which is like 20. So we can use just the values or the sig values of the Shapiro Wilk. So as you can see, the value of the Shapiro Wilk, which is the p value, is, is referred to in spaces as sig dot, and this sig means the p value. If the p value is less than 0 0.05 we uh, reject the null hypothesis which states that there is no statistically significant difference between the two groups in terms of distribution of the data if it is more than 0 0.05 we fail to reject the null hypothesis that states that there is no statistically significant difference between the two or difference between the two uh, groups so as you can see here the p-value is uh, for the first group is uh, 0 .7, 0 0.7 or 0.7 and we have for the female we have uh, 0 0.07 so these two values of the p are uh, more than 0 0.05 which means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis which says that there is uh, stati no statistical difference between the two groups and this in turn indicates that our data is normally distributed okay so we can copy and paste this in our research paper and uh, to comment on it so uh, then we are going to see the second way which is to check the distribution or the normality of distribution using the graphical way so i'm going to uh, go to the qq plots uh, for normality as you can see uh, here are the scores and this should go uh, along with this diagonal line 
and if you have for example excessive values here or there they are called outliers that is they do not follow the normal distribution as you can see here most data follow the normal distribution uh, more or less they follow for more normal distribution for male and female and here we can safely uh, so we cannot just do don't consider this ones so as you can see for female there are some uh, outliers as you can see here in this uh, box plot so these are called outliers you can normalize your data or check uh, if there is mistake in the entry of data to spaces so once you make sure that the data is normally distributed the second uh, step is to conduct an independent samples t-test so i'm going to go to analyze uh, compare means and we go to independent samples t-test and we click on it so the same way i'm going to put this the grouping variable scores in the test variable for the options can leave this like this uh, and but for group for grouping variables we should specify so we should click on define groups so for group one we put one which is male and group two is two which is the female group and we click on continue next we can check uh, the options so already we already checked it we are going to click ok so once you have the output of your uh, independent samples t-test and we have here this independent samples t-test we have uh, equal variances assumed and equal variances not assumed so, okay so we have uh, two uh, columns we have Levine's test for equality of variances and t-test for equality of means so we are going to check the sig two-tailed of this uh, column and you can see here for the p-values we have like uh, 0 0.07 uh, and here we have 0 0.7 so these values are uh, greater than uh, 0 0.05 and therefore we fail uh, to reject the null hypothesis which states uh, that there is a statistically significant difference between the two groups and if you want to see which group performs better you go to group statistics and see for male so the one with the higher score or the mean of each one so for male we have uh, 1460 uh, and for the female 1490 uh, so female students uh, scored better than male students in language skills and therefore you can conduct your or you write your report and uh, that's it and if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below See you in another tutorial.